Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Sentry Arms Wasser 10 chambered in 762 by 39 One of the arguments against AKs is that you can't accessorize them like an AR. And for the most part, that has been true. But it changes with this model and the parts called the Alpha Series made by Midwest Industries. Most of them are drop-in parts, requires no gunsmithing or anything like that. But you can tell this is not your standard AKM firearm. It's not. There's a lot that you could do with this. And it is so easy and it is super cool. It tactifies the rifle. It makes it user friendly. And there are many options that you could use with this Alpha Series. We're going to get into it. We're going to shoot this rifle. We're going to talk about the parts and the advantages that AK guys will certainly enjoy. Midwest Industries has been around for over 20 years making parts for AKs, ARs, and Marlin lever action rifles. This is the first time in 15 years they made parts for AKs. And they're doing it with what they're calling the Alpha Series. And what I have on this Wasser 10 is a Alpha Series stock, a railed top cover, and an Alpha handguard. Let's start with the stock. This stock is... Fully ambidextrous, very adjustable, and it's made out of aluminum with a cheek riser made out of polymer and a rubber butt pad. It is also foldable. You can fold it like that. It has a little tension there. You pull it back out to its full position. I raised the cheek one lever. If you look over here, you can see it has these adjustments. You just put it wherever you want where your cheek is going to give you the best vision with your optics. So I raised it one and the butt pad's also adjustable. You can see there are five different positions that you could raise the butt pad. Most people are going to leave it as is. However, if you're using a plate carrier or other gear that's in the way, you can always raise it if needed. It also has QD mounts. There's a mount right there and then two on the other side right there and right there. It interfaces with the pick rail on the back of the rifle and you could switch it around so it would fold th this other way if that's your preference. But a very nice stock. I think it looks cool and it's, it's very functional and with all the adjustments that you can make to it, you can personalize it to your own liking and adjust the length of pull as well. I didn't even talk about that. This button here, you just push that in and you can move it back wherever you want. There are six adjustments for the length of pull. That one's pretty far, but I would go in a little bit closer anyways. And then you get it to where you want it and it'll stay there. It's nice and sturdy and tight. I really like what Midwest did with this Alpha Series handguard. Check that out. Not only does it look cool, but it offers a lot. A lot that you can attach to this M-Lock handguard. Now, this is a drop-in. It doesn't require any gunsmithing. It's made for AKM firearms. Stamped. If you have a milled AK, then it's not for you at this time. Let's face it, most people have stamped AKs. They're less expensive, and this would be a way to tactify up your AK, if you will. M-Lock all throughout. It also has an integral heat shield right there, all steel. Goes throughout, built on the bottom of the handguard. Now, you install the bottom, and the top piece slides right on, bolted together. It's nice and sturdy. Plenty of lightning cuts throughout. Adds a little bit of weight to the forend, but not too much. All right, they did a very nice job machining it. You can see here they machined around that sling mount. And over here is a QD mount and also on the other side as well. Now this is available in two sizes. This is a rifle length. It's 10 inches. And also they have a 6 inch for smaller firearms. But I think they did a great job with it. There's a lot that you could do. You could even put a front uh, sight there to co-witness with your red dot if that's what you go with so that's a nice option as well as anything you want to attach to the m-lock slots right there 
Plus, you get the benefit of the heat shield. No gunsmithing, no professional additional costs the user should incur if they go with this Alpha handguard. And lastly for this rifle is an Alpha railed top cover. We'll start right here. It attaches to the handguard and then you'll see that it's machined around the rear sight so you can still use your rear sight however you want if you decide not to go with an optic. But then the top cover goes right across there with a Picatinny rail. So if you want to use an optic, clear, clearly that's available to you. And what I have here is a Trigicon SRS red dot and i like the way this mates with this top cover this is four points of contact all right so it makes it nice and tight one thing you will notice with the alpha series is that everything fits nice and tight and i think i mentioned this a couple times but it doesn't require a gunsmith we'll take a look at the other side all right so it goes right around that rear sight and then you have a nice sturdy rail for a red dot or a different scope that you want it once again i keep saying this but accessories like this they offer options and so if you like to add a red dot add a scope add something else on the m-lock slots you know, you can do all that with this alpha series and that that's what i like about it is options are always good and you look at this this top rail it just offers what a lot of people want like, typically putting a red dot on a ak can be a bit of a struggle at times not with this top rail because you have that picatinny rail right there that's available to mount your optic but i like the way it's machined i like the option to use the rear sight in case something happens with your optic you just whip this thing off throw it out and use your rear sight and you have the stock right there as well as the handguard makes this rifle not your common Wasser 10. All these components are made of hard coat anodized aluminum, offers options that you wouldn't otherwise have, as well as value to your rifle. The Wasser 10 is not your standard Wasser 10. You put that Alpha Series Midwest Industries parts on there, it accessorizes it up, it makes it user friendly and a lot more fun at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.